Hey guys, this is What's You See, and today we're gonna be doing a My Cube Collection 2018 video. So let's hop right into it. And uh, I should have probably done this earlier, but I didn't really have time. But I'm doing it now, so yeah, that's the point. So let's just start off with the smallest cube I have, which is this good old one by one. This is a one by one, and yeah, I don't have much to say about this. Okay, let's go on to the second smallest cube. So here I have the Cyclone Boys Mini Phaeton. It's a bit, a bit tight, but pretty good for its size, and it's a mini cube, so yeah, that's fun. Right? Okay, next up we have the Mini Volk. Mini Volk is the best mini cube there is, I would say, in my opinion. Very smooth, very nice, and yeah. So, now let's move on to the next cube. So, this is the Rubik's Brand 2x2, and this is actually the first rooks cube I ever got um, and I actually it's actually pretty good even though it's a rooks rim because I rinsed it so many times I put so much Vaseline in it so many times and I threw it around so many times wore it down and it's pretty smooth rooks brands are actually pretty smooth cubes why is the lightning like that? okay thank you okay are actually pretty smooth cubes and it is the corner cutting is obviously bad but yeah that's the first Rubik's cube I had now let's move on to this Meffert's egg this was actually the second cube I've ever gotten and the only cube that I have that I can't actually solve um, As you can see, I can't solve it at all. Wait, actually, I might be able to do it, guys. Nope, I just scrambled it even worse. So yeah, whatever, I can't solve this, but it was the second cube that I've ever gotten, and it's a shape mod of a 3x3. Three Okay, now let's move on to this MoUYJ Transparent Yulong. This was actually the third cube I've ever gotten. And, uh, yeah, it's not the best speed cube. It's pretty good. Um, and I got it because it looked cool, and I didn't know much about cubes, so I just figured this one because it didn't look that bad. So, yeah. Okay, let's move on to the Moyu Lingpo. And I got this shortly after the Yulong. I don't know if it's the next cube I got. I might have gotten the Carbon 5 before that, but who cares. Uh, and I got it to match the Yulong. This is also by the same company as the 2x2 version of the Yulong. Nice and transparent. I got it because it looked cool. Even though it really isn't too good of a 2x2, um, it's okay. Let's move on to Carbon Fiber. I'm pretty sure I got this one next, I think. Um... This one, actually the unboxing of it, got the most views I on this video I have, even though the unboxing was terrible and it was bad, but whatever. This is a really great cube, but I sort of ruined it because I put Vaseline in it to lube it, because I wasn't very smart, but it's still really great. It's, um... I got the carbon fiber sticker version of the Warrior W. That's what this is. It's a Warrior W with carbon fiber stickers. And I got it because um, I just thought it looked cool. And yeah. I was also planning on getting a carbon fiber version of that on a 2x2. Two two, but um, I just didn't get that. So let's move on to the next cube I got. Which is actually the most expensive cube I have. And that's the GAN Air UM. So I was looking up some reviews, and people said this was really good, and I thought I was pretty advanced enough to spend a good amount of money on a cube, so I decided to get this. And it's obviously fantastic, um, and is my main now. So yeah, I use this one a lot. Now let's go with the cube that I get next. I think I got the, yeah, 2 one The 2 one is the cube I got next after that. So I wanted a really good 2x2. Two two, and the 2 one was really good. 
seems really good to me, so I got it. It's the third most expensive cube I have. First one's the Air UM, which I just looked at, and then the second one's the 4x4, and then this one is the third most expensive cube I have. And it's a really great 2x2. I use it all the time. So, yeah. <coughs> oh, I'm dying. Okay. Um, what I think next I got um, this Pure Minx, yes. Got the Pure Minx and the mini and the one by one at the same time so we got those two and uh yeah the pyraminx i don't really like it it's the moyu magnetic pyraminx but that's not because it's a bad pyraminx i just don't like pyraminx in general because i'm so bad at it and i don't really like how it's shaped like you moves are so weird on pyraminx so that's why i sort of don't really like pyraminx but yeah so i got that Moe you make that um next up what did I get? Um Next I got uh I started getting um cubes in like packages of more than one and I started using speed cube shop instead of the cubicle because speed cube shop is better now. Well at least that's what I think. That's my opinion. Um Personally, because you can get 10% off on Speed Cube Shop, and there's point system and stuff like that, and free shipping to places overseas on over $60. Well, that's just for Canada, I think. Yeah, and that's all really good. Anyways, so I got all of these. I already looked at this, so let's just put that one. And then I got these three. So this is the Mirror Cube. I wanted a Mirror Cube because I thought Mirror Cubes were cool. Um, they are cool because they make it it's just as easy as a 3x3 but it makes it look like you're better actually solving something that's harder and I wanted a good one because all of them seem to be really bad but I got this Moshan Xiaoshi um, Mirror S it, that's what this is and it's a really great cube it's smoother, faster, better corner cutting everything than other mirror cubes but it's not actually mirror cube because there's like this sort of parody thing. <clears throat> I go in more into it in my actual mirror cube video. So you can watch that anyways. Now we have these two. So this is the Wu Chui 4x4. And I wanted a good 4x4. But I didn't want to spend a whole ton of money. So I got the non-magnetic version. The magnetic version was probably way better. But this is still really really good or a 4x4. If this was a 3x3, it would be terrible, actually. But, for a 4x4, it's pretty good. Okay, let's put that aside. Okay. And now we have <coughs> the MF5 5x5. Five five five. I wanted a 5x5, five five, but I figured I wasn't going to do 5x5 five five a lot, so I wanted a cheaper one. So I got the MF5, which is um, part of the MF like collection. And F MFs are known for being cheap, affordable budget cubes that still work good. So this is pretty good, nice and smooth. Um, touches a bit, but yeah, that's what I got. So let's put that aside. Okay. Um, now I have this, what, TE Cav. Um, Epoch actually gave this to me. Um, and it's really good. It's my backup 2x2. Two two. Um, it's a budget 2x2, two two. it's really good for its price, and <coughs> it's really great. Oh man, oh, my throat, okay, whatever. Okay, so I also have this, this is the Spooky Speed Cube, it was a limited edition thing. And it came with my other, my, wait, what, I don't know which, Wait, what did it come with? It came with something, another package. They were doing promotion, and I went over the certain price. So they gave me a free um, spook. Now, next up, we have the skew. And I got that with the Vault. And that was for Christmas, that which was pretty recent. If you saw my Christmas unboxing. And this is just an amazing skew. Um, definitely the best skew on the market. It's a concave design and magnetic function 
Um, it's my main ham only skew. Now, just recently, I actually got this today on the same day I'm recording. Um, well, actually, no. I got this yesterday <clears throat> of the day that I'm recording on right now. And uh, I got this package of these two, blindfold and a cube bag, but those aren't actually a cube collection thing. So I didn't put those in because I also got like lube and a bunch of other stuff. And those are wood aren't really part of the cube collection. So what I got was the MS3 RS2, which is the second one in the series of the MS3 RS, and the MS3 is the very first one, I think. And then the RS was like the second one, I think, and then the RS2 is the newest one. And I got this one because I want a really good 3x3 that I wouldn't mind like non-cubers using because I'm planning on taking this in like public places where people might like hit it out of my hands and stuff so I didn't get magnets either in it and that's really affordable it's under $10 so it's great. Lastly we have this super cool 2x2 two two, um, Mega Minx. It's actually a Kilo Minx I think? Kylo Minx or whatever. And I c can solve it. It's actually a lot easier than I thought it would be because Mega Minx solves takes people a long time but I also know how to do Mega Minx and I didn't realize how easy it was even though it takes so long. A lot like 5x5, 5x5, 5x5 is actually pretty easy. It just takes a really long time. Um, and yeah, that's my cube collection. Let's bring all the cubes back in for you guys to see. Okay, that was just a spooky cube. That's okay. No magnetic cubes got hurt. Okay. And then, that's all, the whole collection. Right there. So, I think that should be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to like. Check out GM Cubing. Check out our other channel, What's PNG. If you subscribe to this channel, just because you're like my friend or something, and I know you, and you were like, okay, I'll subscribe to your channel, but aren't actually interested in cubing, go set, check out What's PNG. Go to the channel section at our, um, on this channel, or search up What's PNG. That's spelled W E T Z space P N G. And there's non cuber stuff. A lot of great stuff. If you don't know what a non cuber is, then you probably are one. So go check that out. Um, also check out Dean Cubing, I already said that, he gave me a shout out and thank you a lot for that again. Um, and also if you want to buy any of these cubes, link in the description to speedcubeshop.com, please use it. And uh, remember subscribe because YouTube changed their guidelines, subscribe, 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 just subscribe guys, please do it. Um, and check out all my other videos, and that's pretty much it for this video, because I don't want this to drag on for too long, which it already sort of has. I'm sorry about that, guys. That's it for this video.